Welcome, Hush Guidance. So we're back with installment number two of the Crossbow DIY Pulse Induction Metal Detector. And today we're going to look at the transmit portion of the circuit. So you can see the new components that we've installed here thus far. Um, IRF840 is our MOSFET. You can see we have a uh, inline resistor. It's uh, in series with the MOSFET. Um, we've got an NE555. And what we're going to be looking at here on the oscilloscope in a minute is the transmit pulse width and the frequency. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so what we're looking at here on the oscilloscope is the uh, gate of the MOSFET. And I'll show you what that looks like on the printed circuit board, how I have the connection. And you can see, I believe it's in screen, that right now we are at 1.027 kilohertz. And the uh, pulse width is 120 point 6.2 microseconds okay so uh, those are both pretty much dead on according to the information from the uh, geotech forum um, if we were to want to adjust the frequency for instance we have uh, r44 it's a hundred k multi-turn trimmer we would adjust that and to adjust the pulse width it's R43 and that's a 10k multi-turn trimmer. So let's take a look at the printed circuit board and I'll show you how I have my connection. Alright so that's the connection here. You can see my probe here in black. We're connected to the gate of the MOSFET and just on the very edge of the screen I have the ground connection attached to the ground reference which in this case is test point five so that's what that looks like you could also make your connection at test point four and you'd see approximately the same thing it uh, makes a, a very slight bit of difference but in, in my case I went right to the gate of the MOSFET thanks Okay, let's take a quick look at the schematic so you have an idea of what parts to get together for this portion of the build. We're doing the uh, transmit portion. So everything that is encompassed by the blue border, that's what we're putting on the printed circuit board today. Uh, you can see we have an NE555 timer here. Um, Here's the MOSFET. Uh, in, on the schematic, it says uh, IRF740. In my project, I used an IRF840. You can use either. Um, up here, PL3, this is our coil connection, right? And over here, we have a couple of multi turn trim pots. Um, R44 is how you adjust the frequency. It's a 100K multi-turn trim pot. And right below it is R43. And that's how we go about adjusting the pulse width. And that's a 10K trim pot. So just get all these parts together and uh, place them on the board. And we'll move on from there.